We begin our newscast with a story that is drawing out emotions from many here in our community. The parents of a six-week-old baby girl made an appearance in Lethbridge Court for a bail hearing on Wednesday morning. The couple faces various charges. The little girl remains at Alberta Children's Hospital in Calgary in critical condition. BCN's Naveen Day is outside of the courthouse and has the latest. Naveen? Well, Hal, I arrived at the Lethbridge Courthouse shortly before 9 a.m. in the morning, and there already was a significant number of protesters on site. Now, one thing that you'll notice is how specific the signs are. They're not saying anything vague like justice for baby. Uh, a lot of them are very specific. They want to see bail denied, and they want the stiffest of penalties to be applied to this couple, who are a 52-year-old male and a 31-year-old female. In fact, one of the signs reads, where's the attempted murder charge? So the idea is not just to make noise, but to send a specific message to the judge and the Crown. Now, this rally was put together by an Edmonton-based group called Dads on Guard. And according to the organizers, this case is personal. By my uh, survivor from child sexual assault, um, hearing about this story, it just, it, it really hit my heart. Um, you know, the, the fact that someone who's put in that position of authority and trust of that child uh, could take that vulnerability from the child and, and, and completely ruin their life before they even had a chance to have one, it, it just breaks my heart. Uh, I came out after 40 years and uh, I find that uh, with, with, with uh, bringing out my voice, a lot of other men are coming forward. And, uh, and that was our whole goal is to, to have more people come forward and, and everybody, let everybody know like what's happening in society. And uh, I mean, we've got, we got to put a stop to it. We have to do something. Uh, the minimum mandatory for uh, distribution of manufactured child pornography here is only 12 months. These guys are getting eight months and then they're released, usually under a publication ban. That's a slap on the wrist. These victims are having lifelong consequences. That was Dads on Guard, a group formed in 2021. Back to you, Hal. Thanks so much, Naveen. We go now to Jeanette Roche, who attended the court hearing earlier today. Jeanette, what happened inside of the courtroom? Yeah, Hal, during the short appearance today, only defense attorney John Oman appeared on screen to request a remand for disclosure, saying he only received the information for his client late Tuesday night. The judge granted the remand until Friday, but Crown Prosecutor Don Janicki told the court the Crown plans to oppose bail during the hearing. The two accused, who cannot be identified because of a publication ban to protect the infant's identity, are being charged separately. The man faces charges of aggravated assault, sexual assault, sexual contact with a child, and failing to provide the necessaries of life, while the woman faces a single charge of failing to provide the necessaries of life. Both remain in custody at the Lethbridge Correctional Center.